I've been editing vertical videos in Final Cut Pro completely wrong. Normally I would create a new project, we'll just call it vertical for now, I would set it to the vertical video format and push OK. Then I would bring in my footage, I would go in and set the spatial conform over to fill, and then I would start editing my footage. The problem is, is if I wanted to add in a template, I would go to my titles and let's say I want to add in this Twitter handle, I would drag that on and you'll notice that the Twitter handle is not showing up anywhere in my video. And that is because it's over here on the left side because it was originally designed for a 16 by nine format. Now you'll notice that I cannot use the transform tool to actually get that Twitter handle back over because it's actually cropping it off here at the edge. Now I've created a couple different videos in Apple Motion showing how to fix this for your videos. But if you don't have Apple Motion or if you don't wanna go through all the hassle, this is definitely the best way to edit a vertical video in Final Cut Pro. What I suggest is you start off with a horizontal timeline. So I'll go ahead and open up this horizontal timeline, go up to your view and go down to choose custom overlay. We're gonna select add a custom overlay. I'm gonna have a free download to this down below on my Gumroad store. You'll find this vertical video format and we'll go ahead and push open. I'll replace it because I've done this tutorial before. Now we can go up to view and select show custom overlay and we'll go ahead and just enable it. Here you can clearly see where the vertical video is going to be taking place on our timeline. Now I will talk about the elephant in the room. There's this really annoying glitch where there are about two pixels showing on all the edges showing forth our underlying video. I don't know why that glitch is happening. I've tried different graphics software. I've tried making it in motion. I don't know what the deal is. You will not see it if you import this just straight as a PNG. The great thing about the custom overlay is that it is going to be available in all of your projects. So that is why I recommend the custom overlay. So now that we have this overlay, we can start designing our video. We can go into our Twitter handle. I'll push shift T or you can select the transform tool and I'll just go ahead and slide this on over to the middle. When you're done editing everything, you can go ahead and select it all, right click and select new compound clip. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it vertical. Now we can jump on over into our browser and find the compound clip that has all of our footage. I'll right click and select new project. This is going to create a new project from our selection. Now I can just call this the vertical video. We'll change the format over to vertical and then we can go ahead and set the resolution to 1080p by 1920 and push okay. From there, we'll select our compound clip, scroll down in our video inspector and change the spatial conform from fit over to fill. All we need to do after that is disable our custom overlay and if we push play, everything will show up exactly as it was designed in our timeline. All of our transitions are gonna work perfectly. All of our templates can be shifted around so we can see them exactly where we need to in our vertical video. And everything will be working as it was designed even though we're in a vertical video format. I personally think that this is the best way to design your vertical videos in Final Cut Pro. First, build them in a horizontal timeline, use that overlay so you know exactly what you're looking for, and then in the end, export it from a vertical video preset. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.